okay uh, how to find the value of x right now here first of all you know some are uh, maybe miss uh, you know get uh, this has um, cyclic coordinate they will think you know uh, what the b c d o this is a cyclic coordinate no this is not a cyclic coordinate first of all you should understand that uh, then some uh, uh, maybe try to get x you no know, this two supplementary like that no you can use that way if it is a cy cyclic coordinate but here b c d o is not cyclic cyclic coordinate because why this o is not on circle circumference this is center no so that's why otherwise b c d those points on circumference but this is not on circumference so you can't think b c d o has a cyclic coordinate so you should understand first first of all that okay then now here how we can find okay now they tell now this c d b c b o sorry c d and b o parallel so that's why if this is 50 this also must be 50 right because corresponding angle right like f corresponding angle so you can mark here has 50 like i always um, said to you what you have to do don't try to find directly this angle you have to find some other angle which you can uh, that's the thing i now i am doing here 50 so this also must be 50 because why this a corresponding angle okay again now this o is the center now that means ad is the diameter it is a diameter so that's why this diameter subtended angle that means from a and d this is the diameter from a and d subtended angle normally we call semicircle angle this must be 90 right we learned that no in a, a semicircle this diameter subtended angle is 90 degree okay these are the information we can mark now okay then not only that now this two parallel no so that's why if this is 90 this also must be 90 because why now like this way if two line parallel right like this two line parallel we learn alternate angle this angle equal this angle it can be even 90 if this is 90 this also 90 like that right here like that now this two line parallel and this is the uh, uh, this line then here is then this angle is 90 so this also must be 90 this also must be 90 okay that's the idea right here like this alternate angle because this two line parallel huh? then if this is 90 this also 90 try to understand that and then after now here very carefully looking now from a and b from a and b right go to center right and again from a and b go to circumference that means c here right try to understand this also we have learned this another theorem from a and b go to center from a and b go to circumference here c so if this is 50 this should be half of 50 that means 25 we have learned that right uh, angle at circumference um, is half of the angle at center right here this one 50 so this one should be 25 all right try to understand this angle is half of the distance half of the center angle so here should be 25 right now you know how to get the value of x so you can write what the x plus 25 let me this one and plus this 90 should be 180 180 right this is um but the interior angle of a triangle so now x this one when you add it will be 115 here 180 115 into here so you can get what the value of x 115 so here when you subtract it will be 65 65 degrees x will be that's the answer for x right value of x is 65 degrees